Yo, it's Lando, and it's the Hip Hop Lab, man. And uh, it seems like J. Cole allegedly didn't pay a Detroit graphic artist for his artwork on the KOD album. Um, this story is coming from Hot New Hip Hop. When artist Six Move, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Six Move, whose real name is Kamu Horan, was negotiating with J. Cole about the KOD cover art. The North Carolina rapper allegedly told him that he would only be using the beautiful work for the project's booklet. There was no mention of merchandise or anything of that sort. Therefore, Six Move found out that the rapper was selling merch with the album cover on it. He was rightfully pissed. Now the artist is making sure that everybody knows that he ended up getting a short end of the stick, calling out J. Cole on Twitter. So, um... Six Move said he's not impressed by how the situation has been handled on Dreamville side of things. He fired some shots online saying that he did all the creative directions for the KOD album and was told his work was only to be used for the booklet, only for it to be turned around and uh, be sold as merchandise. And profit and J. Cole profited from it while he was on tour. After the fans inquired about what he actually meant, he said this is exactly how he's able to exploit people. His message of positivity makes him feel comfortable while he finesses money from behind his back. Um... And he actually uh, got to say that J. Cole don't pay his people, and he actually called himself a bum-ass Detroit nigga and say his place looked better than J. Cole, people pay to be paying. But what do y'all think, man? Do you feel like uh, J. Cole is wrong for not paying for his cover art? Do you feel like uh, a lot of people saying that he's cloud chasing? Do you feel like this cloud chasing? Honestly, I feel like if he was going to, if he made something for J. Cole and J. Cole made money off of it. It should definitely break him off, have him on tour or something, show some type of love. You feel me? But let me know what y'all think. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. It is the Hip Hop Lab.